currently making plans to record two new albums, his first since Songs of Strength and Heartbreak in the late 1990s, and with an upcoming tour, a documentary and a memoir in the works, we meet with Pete Wiley to discuss the long-awaited return of the Mighty War. Down by the docks, the talking tent Some are striving to survive The others thrive Reaching the realm of no return I don't want charity, just half a chance And it's all up to you Yes, it's all up to you Come back Willing to try, come back. One of the things that I found difficult in the last 10, 12 years is knowing what to do. Because it seemed like there were so many options, uh, too many to be able to make. There were no right answers as well. There was no clear route to, for, to what I wanted to do. And uh, I became more and more uh, reclusive, you know, and uh, I just kind of lost, uh, lost the path a little bit. Drifted. Well, did you ever hear of hope? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A small belief to mean you never walk alone. I've always jumped off the treadmill, even in, when we were in the 80s when we were having it. So I'd take, after Story of the Blues, I took a year before we put Sin, uh, 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 come back out, and then two years before Sinful, you know, and not because I was off doing anything. I stopped touring, you know, because we were getting quite good at it. So it was, I was almost being contrary a lot of the time, just not taking it for granted. So if it, I'll take a year and put another record out and that's more of a test of whether I'm any good than just keep churning stuff out, you know what I mean? I haven't made a record this century, so that's an interesting gap to try and make up, you know? Uh, and when that dawned on me that it, it, is, uh, it was the end of the 1990s that I last made a record, it was a bit of a shock. But I hadn't, uh, I hadn't felt like it was a big gap I think I don't know if that's getting older or whatever. But yeah, it's uh, so it, 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 there's a challenge there. With your velvet sides and your angel heart and your smile as big as China, let me take my place in your cool and gray. After Songs of Strength and Heartbreak and the whole dealing with Sony thing, I never want to be in a position where I have to deal like that. And I've had some offers of help in the last few months of people who really are decent. And what I've had to say to them is, you know what, I want to take responsibility for everything. I don't want to have anyone to blame if it all goes wrong. But I'm quite like having the power to make my own mind up about things and to work the way I want to work and to not be constantly edited and compromised and um, even di directed in a positive way. People don't mean any harm, but they, they, people have other ideas. Well, I've got pretty good ideas. I always have had, you know, I've always had... That was one of the frustrations, I think, the people who I worked with knew that I had really good ideas, but they have a structure within which you have to work and it clashes with their ideas. Then I was never going to be able to do that, you know. Now I can do the things I want to do and it'll be a different level than I've done before, but it's really, there's nothing I can't do that I, there's nothing I want to do that I can't anymore. There's nobody to tell me I can't, you know. I 
I've started recording the new stuff, um, I'm writing new stuff as we go. They're all instrumental at the moment. I like writing lyrics right before I sing them because I want to write as close to when I'm singing it so that the connection I'm making with it is more direct and you know cohesive. These are just throwing ideas at the wall so that even if I make mistakes I'm leaving them in because it might trigger a note that I hadn't thought of before in a relationship. But don't you can't judge me very harshly yet. guitar disappeared but anyway when I write them in my head it's a whole cinemascope picture you know I'm only filling in these bits to try and make what's in my head come to life for other people um, I already know that's the hard bit it's not like some people who I think there are some people who think you know what can I do now and then I can do this and then they try and make it whereas in my head it's all written beforehand I think that's one of the things I've found frustrating in the past it's it it's not the writing of it or the imagining of it that's hard for me, which I think that's, I think it is for a lot of people who call themselves songwriters. It's the bit in between me imagining it and getting it where you want to play it to other people that's hard for me. All this, the actual mechanics of getting a song down and recorded the way you want it, you know. But, you know, modern technology is making that loads, uh, loads easier. Um, and I'm just going to keep knocking songs down for the next week and I'm not, I'm not going to stop but I'd like the idea of a deadline I'll have by in a week's time I'll have all the songs the, the main contenders um, but that's not the whole story yet it's not the whole thing yet to start and your deadline is because of the World Cup well I know how easily I get dragged into I, when I make a commitment, whether it's emotionally or to music, it's the same with the football. I've got to be totally committed to it. Um, so I'm, and it's an arbitrary deadline, but it's quite a useful one. Um, I'm using the World Cup as a deadline for finishing new songs, so then I can just sit back and enjoy them. But the great thing is, by doing that, once I'm sitting back, unless it's an incredible match, I'm going to keep leg legging in from that room into this room and putting ideas down because that's how it works and it's often when I'm not concentrating hard that the best ideas come you know something some odd note will turn up out the blue while I'm watching Ghana against Ecuador and there the magic shall lie if anyone needed to know I'm going to make two records kind of and I've said this for years but it's now we're going to do it I'm going to make one called Pete Sounds with nice songs and love songs on and one called Slime which is full of nasty horrible hateful songs we've got bingo beer and benefits well what else could you need and we live a life untainted by voracious vampire greed so we'll sing our song together let's all raise our voices one bob crow said this if we all got together the bastards might drown and we all sign on oh. in my head there are two separate LPs that come out on the same day and at the same time Pete Sounds is the much more accessible I suppose and traditional songwriting love songs and, and upbeat I suppose generally and Slime is the darker and heavier more guitar more tonight's the night as compared to I suppose Pete Sounds is a harvest we're all in this together. I think Slime will be rawer, more raw than uh, Pete Sounds. Um, but I also think that it's more the emotional tone of it. I think, you know, when people do, uh, there's an abbreviation people use when they put things on Twitter and stuff. NSFW, not safe for work. And that can mean it's swearing or sex or whatever in it. I think. Pete Sounds won't have NSFW on it, but Slime might say NSFW. That's the difference. 
And if you understand that, then you'll like both of them. I think it's easier now because I've got less options and I've got less time. You know, I'm not a child uh, with a long route, a long road, and a far off horizon. You know, I'm, I'm in the uh, second half of my life, and there's no guarantees about how long. I've nearly died twice, so I'm aware of you know the, the possibility of death. You know, and uh, so I think having less options means I've just got to do whatever I can do. You know. Uh, and there are less opportunities, I suppose. There are less people uh, interested in me, which in, is a, is okay. You know, it's not that's not a bad thing necessarily. To try. I just want to play. There's loads of places I've never played. I never did as many gigs as I should have, or never did as many as people think I did these as well. But just you know, just kept going. And that's something I haven't done as well for years, which uh, is just to keep on with things, you know, rather than doing something and then having a break or, or just losing heart or whatever, you know, actually having a bit of momentum to what I do. And I've talked about momentum before, but uh, this feels a lot different. Come back. Come back. Back. And hats off to you. Cause it's all up to you.